Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're gonna be talking about exargs. I did a extensive video on exargs that I will link in the description, but today we're talking about a very specific technique, which is sometimes you wanna stop exargs early. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through a use I had at work and hopefully that will explain to you what I was trying to do. Okay, so I knew that some of the tests inside of this module might fail on their own. And so I was trying to run each of them one at a time. And PyTest doesn't really give you a good option for doing that, but I knew exargs could help me out here. So the first thing that I started with is trying to get the list of tests in this module. And to do that, you can use the collect only option to PyTest. And if you pass a single queue, it gives you a more useful output. It's not exactly the output that we want, but it is close enough. And I am going to just, uh, you can't see it, but I am, uh, oh, I guess I can do this. I'm piping that to a test list file. And so we're gonna, uh, get the list of tests in this file. If we open that up, you'll see that we have the tests one by one, but we also have this junk at the bottom. I'm gonna get rid of the junk at the bottom. I'm also going to reorder one of the tests to be earlier on just so the video doesn't take so long. Uh, we're gonna put this test here. I happen to know this test fails, but you wouldn't know that before this, so that, that's fine. Um, so now what I wanna do is I wanna use exargs to run each of these tests one at a time with PyTest. Uh, you can use exargs-a to read the tests in one at a time. We're going to use the new line as our delimiter. Uh, and if we just do echo right now, you'll see that uh, we get uh, what we need to do dash n1. Uh, you'll see that we are now just regurgitating our test list one at a time here. Um, and if we do echo dash n1 pytest qq, you'll see that we get a bunch of PyTest commands over and over. And so we're able to run PyTest one at a time. However, this doesn't really solve our problem right now. Xargs will continue on and run every single one of these and not stop when we get a failure. Uh, it sort of ignores the exit code except for a very special case, which is if the, t if the uh, thing that you're running exits 255, or I guess negative one on POSIX when you have uh, eight bit return codes. Um, it will stop early. And so it'll stop as soon as it runs this particular failing test here. Now, what we can do in order to do that is use replace and then bash dash C. I like to do XC so that we see what it's running. Uh, and if we do this, it will run. So it'll now run this. It'll substitute in the test name for these curly braces here. Uh, and we want to exit 255 on failure. So if this exits some non-zero thing, we'll run, we'll run exit 255 that'll signal to exargs that we need to stop and it will you know, cease running tests there. And so if you run this now, you'll see we get nice little output, pytest QQ. It's gonna run each of those tests one at a time. Uh, they take a little bit to run, but fortunately we <laughs> doctored the list so the fourth one will error out for us. Uh, and then from there, I did some other debugging to figure out why that test was failing and then eventually fixed it. But uh, ideally a test should run on its own and not depend on state from other tests and so this was what i considered a bug and then went about fixing it yeah you'll see here exargs bash exited with status 255 aborting and so this is exargs's way of saying i'm done and then uh leaving you to work on whatever else you need to do but anyway hopefully you found this useful uh this little exit code thing has uh, come up a few times in things that i've debugged so i've felt it was worth making a video. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.